The hunger problem on Sanibel is real. In fact, island workers have never seen it this bad. Hurricane Ian dealt them a tough blow, but as Wink News anchor Taylor Wirtz shows us, your donations are a lifeline. Sanibel and Captiva have been through a lot in the past few years. We've seen devastations that have hit the region from red tide to, you know, worldwide COVID and inflation costs. But Maria Espinoza, executive director of Fish of Sandcap, tells me she's never seen anything as devastating to the barrier islands as Hurricane Ian. No community is ready for a Category 5 storm to hit. Nobody, no matter what tax bracket you're in, is prepared to figure out what you do after that and those next steps. Karen Miller knows that better than most. Oh, I lost everything. I lost my house. I lost everything I own. Then I got sick and I was hospitalized, intubated with pneumonia. So it's been a long road, long road. Yeah, through it all. Miller says Fish's food pantry has been a lifeline for many, whether it be for fresh produce, canned goods or even things you can't eat but still need around the house. We just have Jerry's for the grocery store and the traffic has been really bad, so it's hard to go off the island. Espinoza says they've tried to be a helping hand, not only for the people living on the islands, but those working here as well. They've been dedicated to these islands since before the storm and now continue to work out here after, some of them coming all the way from Lehigh and beyond. So this is the only opportunity they have to access a food pantry or any source of free food for their families. And while every day is a work in progress, those on Sanibel and Captiva can rest a little easier knowing fish will be with them every step of the way. Everybody's so sweet, very helpful, and to volunteer their time to help us is wonderful. Taylor Wirtz, Wink News. So many workers on Sanibel are really struggling right now. They're just not getting the kind of work and pay that they are used to on the island because things are not back 100%. But we can help them here at March to a Million Meals, benefiting the Harry Chapin Food Bank that provides food to so many agencies like fish around our area. Just go to winkfeedsfamilies.com. You see our meal meter is full, but we can take a lot more donations and help a lot more people. Just click the Make a Difference button and you can make a donation like the anonymous donor did $50, that's 100 meals, because for every dollar, we get two meals from Harry Chapin. $100 from Rosemary Anderson. Thank you so much. She said, I hope this helps. It does. 200 meals worth. If you want to help out, go to winkfeedsfamilies.com. Coming up, fighting.